here we go. It'll be Campbell just inside the end zone. And Paris Campbell, one of the more dangerous kick returners in the country, still on his feet. He'll finally go down at the 20 foot and, and take it to the distance. We'll see if he has any room tonight to run. So Mike Weber with the hamstring problem during camp, and Dobbins gets the start, gets a carry on his first play. will empty the backfield. Barrett's first pass of the season. And that one's caught for a short. Had a lot of success last year against him. They made it very tough on the Buckeyes last year. Barrett's got time. He's got a receiver. He's got a completion for a first down. And then a good recognition by JT. And Dobbins will get another carry here. Got through the initial. Started right guard right into the backfield. But see the ability of J.K. Dobbins, the instincts. In that backfield, he gets hit, bounces off it, and picks up positive yards. And we did see a moment ago a little smile on the face of Mike Weber on the sideline, watching the kid. A little option style play. Barrett keeps it. Dobbins once again leaves the backfield. Barrett's going to throw short. That's caught, and that's a first down and more. Paris Campbell was down. So a couple of conversions already for Ohio State. Ohio State's been playing football for 128 years. JT Barrett is the first three-time team captain in program history. Across the middle for a catch. Big hit. Dobbins gets the carry. Instead of bouncing it outside, cut it. JT Barrett is a quarterback coach. Barrett gave the ball to Dobbins again. Play clock down to five. And now whistles and... Somebody called a timeout, I believe. Yeah, Urban Meyer ran. JT Barrett in the pocket, not being pressured, and he's going to try to scramble for it. He'll throw it away. Hamburger, who's not been the primary kicker for a couple of years, his first attempt of a lot of the teams in the Big Ten, he's very tough, just can't get over the hump. So now the Hoosiers going to get the ball first, and the kick return nowhere to go for Devontae Williams. Broke one tackle but in this team and what they can do. And he's got some weapons to work with. They're going to throw on first down and a quick completion across the middle. Down that very talented defensive line from Ohio State. Nice quick throw that time by Lego. You'll see a lot of that tonight. They respect the Ohio State defensive line immensely. One of the best in the country. One of the ways to, to combat that. Quick throws and, and try to wear down that defensive line with tempo. Unbelievable talent on that D-line. How about the jump ball? And but he had that ball caught. A new weapon. He didn't play much of a role for Indiana last now it's third and ten and now this is where they can crank up the pressure well there may not be a position group in college football with more talent than Ohio State on the D-line and they move four defensive ends onto the field when they get you into obvious passing situations a lot of speed on that D-line they go with 17 interceptions last year trying to cut down on those mistakes another one of those jump balls it is it's a battle for that football and take it away from Sheffield. He is a big time talent. Ten and I said who separates themselves. He's a Cobbs can win the one on one battle. That was a pretty good example of that. That's another one on one battle and Cobbs won that one. So that tells you they work a lot on their routes. Well, they go maybe a busted play keeps it in there. Second down the jet will get the carry nowhere to go hit arm and these receivers ability to win in one on one Man, very quick snap on third down another third down completion and guess they take him off the field and get Damon Arnett back into the lineup Play fake Lego on the move will throw short and it is where well, they are just spreading it out and throwing it around right now and They are really going fast Lego toward the end zone. It is Incomplete foot on the line with control of the ball, resulting in a touchdown. He's an NFL tight end. There's, there's an example of it. I would say extra point up and good. Season. Indiana will kick the ball back to the Buckeyes. Ian Thomas with the 18-yard touchdown catch. Great start for the Indiana offense. Griffin Oaks with Campbell deep. And it's going to be a state. They got points. In their first drive, which is more than they did, of course, against Clemson. And oh, we've got to wear them down. Also said, if you feel it, let's stretch the field here. In their first drive. 
Another third down. They had three of them on their first drive. Pressure starts to come. Barrett incomplete. Covered if in 14. This will be the first punt of the redshirt freshman Drew Crispin's Ohio State career. Taking over for a veteran, a very talented punter. So this area is a bit of a question mark. That's a line drive punt. Fair please with his start of his quarterback. Yeah, new coordinators on the offense on both sides. The run game. Well, Ian Thomas can catch. He just got beat bad by Draymond Jones. That's not a good matchup for Indiana. A quick completion after the run. Say it's the strength of their offense, the receivers. Well, they converted three third downs on that first drive. Pressure comes. Lego's going to dump it short and it's dropped. Whitehead, who has never played in an American-style football game. That's his first play in his football career, essentially. Ryan Day, early on in this game, may be a reason for some of the issues offensively. All right, thanks, Laura. On first down, there's the true freshman first. And then checking it down instead of running with the feet. And off straight ahead, stop. I think just a little. really struggled to be able to do that. They're going to throw on first down, short right side, and on made different levels of this defense. Second down and nine. That throw down the field is incomplete, and the hit came in from Tony V. Barrett again is going to have to check down, and that open field tackle. He's got a lot of experience and a lot of talent on that side of the ball. End over end punt. And that's going to bounce and take an Ohio State bounce inside the 15. And it's still. Yeah, can't wait. It's college game day on Saturday squeezed in as well. Lego over the top. It hits the helmet of the Buckeyes. Back to be able to knock that ball away. Yeah, he looked like a DB. Now this time the pass perfectly thrown. The eight yard completion. Lego looks good, doesn't he? Well, he does. In the pocket this time, pressured, spinning, going down. Becoming a starter. Well, that, again, I don't think was a role and command of this team. You can kind of see and feel his mojo from up here. Third and 12, that throw, and it's knocked away incomplete. Nice play. On Who just don't have a ton of experience with all the talent at that position the last couple of years. We know Ward's got talent. Fair catch. Uh, it's going to be fascinating to see how that plays out as the game minutes. goes on. Yeah. One thing we is the receivers as well. Play fake. Barrett has an open receiver and it's dropped. That ball was dropped. And you said it already. It's not all on Barrett. He needs some help from those receivers being pressured. And he is going to throw it away again. Off the field. All they talked about in the offseason was improving the offense, and they're off to a slow start. Here in this oh, by the way, we thought maybe we might see Peyton Ramsey, who takes his first. Here. And his, his son is a warrior, tough kid, is a dual threat. They really like him. Another fake, again, keeps it strong. Now you're dealing with option football and plus one with the quarterbacks running the ball. This will be interesting. Do they have faith in him to throw the ball? It's tipped and caught anyway. What a great effort. Ryan Water. They're going to pitch it. Left side run. And a pretty short. Yeah, they were committed to using him. He's going to roll out again. And he's going to run against that Ohio State speed. Goes down as he gets. So young Peyton Ramsey, the first series of his college career on third down, will throw incomplete. So this is where the uh, new punter making his Indiana debut, Hayden Whitehead, will try to do just that. And I think he's done it inside the 10 at about the maybe even more pressure on Tennessee than usual, which is saying something. From inside the 15, the handoff. That's why he's facing defenses that are crowding the line. Wow. A throw short. There. Third and two. A handoff straight ahead. Did he get it? I don't know. Another Ohio State punt on fourth and less than a yard. That's a good punt. A fair catch inside the 35. I told Kirk there, as a football coach, when you die, you'll leave pieces of you. Afternoon lunch yeah. and visit with yeah. uh, those 90 or 100 guys that came back to see you. There are a lot of your former Hoosier. Indiana had never, 25 years, been ahead of Woody Hayes. Yeah. They wouldn't be ahead of him. You know, I got ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you timed it perfect. By the way, there was a flag on the Buckeyes. And Ohio State yeah. lost so many players to the NFL They're in that secondary. And if, if they, they don't get the... I think, uh, yeah. Columbus still kind of trying to search for it. But Lego looks great tonight, getting the ball out quick. Well, he, 
as long as he does that, he'll gonna win only if he throws the ball. There's no question about it. Now, and I like the fact that he's throwing the ball to the wideout. See that? He's throwing the ball one on one with the wideouts. And, and here's where you don't know whether they can move the ball on the ground. On fourth and one, it's a pass, and it's a first down. Why not? He's covering the slot receiver. Oh, big darn. Well, they're going for it tonight, aren't they? There's Cobbs incomplete. And last, no ch chance of them unless they. Now, they've got to put. put Ohio State's got to find a way to put. Run somebody else out there. Substitution. 12 men in formation on the defense. You know. It's a five yard penalty. What? It remains second down. On this drive. And the Hoosiers are inside the 15 yard line. Hardy leading 7 to 3. Coach Corso is with us. Just honored a few moments. First rounders. A third and five. A little pump fake. And that one tipped and intercepted. Off the tip ball. Down the sideline. Out of bounds at the 40 yard line. That's Jordan. Think about Fuller. Eight in white. Gets his hand right there, and that's what allowed Fuller to step in front of that. To throw the ball to the other team. That one may not have been on him. That was just a great play. Now Barrett trying to go downfield. Into coverage. Flag thrown, and it's almost intercepted. State receiver affected him trying Defense to get downfield. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. That's Benjamin. At least taking a chance. They got to do that. First penalty on the Hoosiers puts the Buckeyes into Indiana territory. And off on first down. There's the quickness of the moves of the freshman. J.K. Dobbins gets to the outside. To the 15 and inside the 10. By, by, by and, Dobbins. And a nice play by a Texan, right? Yeah. He, oh yeah. Made he up told the me range. he was from Texas. Yeah. Five yards from the freshman Dobbins. Second a goal for Ohio State. J.T. Barrett over the top and incomplete. There was some contact. T was first and goal, two straight pass plays. Now it's third and goal. Yeah. Throw, throw, throw. JT Barrett. He's going to tuck and try to run for it. Barrett to the corner, shoved out of bounds. Just not going to be the number two team in the nation. That's a good point you make. The field goal is up and good. Yeah, we had a lot of fun on the show, and it's obviously this, we got a great game tonight. We do. One point game, second quarter. Indiana's going to get the ball back here. Good kick coverage, the special teams coverage. The tip ball interception snuffed out the drive right as they were in the red zone. Play go, play fake. And I know he gave the ball back. They like him a lot. His first play of his college career. They're going in that direction, but instead of the wide receiver, Hale, against a hand issue or what? But he's on the sideline for third and nine with time. Let go. That one was tipped, I think, but it's completed anyway. And there's the tight end, Ian Tuck. Receiver that time, Timmy, and that's a touchdown. But instead, just the big pass play through the... That pass is caught. Left sideline, first down, Indiana, and more. Simi Cobbs fighting the Buckeyes defense. It's tough matchup with his size at 6-4. And that quick tempo continues, Kirk, that you said might be the fast the tempo here that Richard Lego feels comfortable with. Play fake. That one-on-one -on -one matchup, oh. and I think it's another one-handed grab by Cobb. Well, it's first and goal. Lego over the top for Cobbs, and that time... That guy, Urban Meyer, he's got to be concerned. Second a goal. <laughs> that one incomplete. Third and goal. Ohio State showing some pressure. A little play fake, and they will try it again to Cobbs. Touchdown. Great coverage. What else are you going to down? Both of the touchdown passes also on third down for Indiana. There he's on the football side, Assembly Hall. Some of the most hallowed grounds in college basketball. Touchback. Oh, who's going to be able to get separation and try to get open to try to help JT Barrett out? Indiana wide receivers, 13 catches. Ohio State wide receivers now five catches. And yards on first down. And let's see if that can get the Buckeyes in a little offensive rhythm. And a play fake, another one. And a throw down the sideline. To the and there was no safety valve. Second and ten. Fake the handoff, quick hitter out to Campbell, and he breaks a tackle. Gets to the sideline, wrestled out of bounds. State offensive line's been losing the battle at the line of scrimmage. The handoff, and they didn't exactly blow Indiana off the line, but I do think the Buckeyes get the first down. That was a big conversion, though, for the Buckeyes. First down, Dobbins with the carry, and you can see he just <laughs> finds those little... 
Mike Weber, we don't know if he's totally unavailable, but he hasn't played yet. See if they can take control of the line of scrimmage. There they go. Dobbins gets through to the 20. Inside the 15 and still going inside the 10. They're either running over him or around him and making him miss. And good job by that line that time. He's over 100 yards already now in the red zone. Ohio State in this first half. Six plays, a total of 11 yards, and they've kicked two field goals. And now it's Antonio Williams in there in the backfield with JT Barrett. Barrett's going to keep it. Barrett, five, and close. I think stopped short. They go fast. They got to the line of scrimmage very quickly. Barrett will hand it off, and it's a touchdown. Antonio Williams punches it in, and that's the first touchdown of the year. And you can get into that the uh, passing game that can complement a power running game. And we know how tough it was for them to throw last year against it. Maybe some relief for the Buckeyes in the end zone for the round drive for the Buckeyes. Makes it a one-point game. Now the kickoff. I think deliberately short, taken right around the five-yard line. Devontae Williams bounces it outside. He's got some quickness. Out to about Cobbs and these one-on-one -on -one matchups. And it is that true freshman Columbus kid in the backfield. That was a pretty good cut by Morgan Ellison. He gets 15 seconds. Second and six. That throw with an open receiver right at midfield is complete. That's a chance to make a play up high. He just looks so poised right now. That quick hitter out to the left sideline. Safety's over top of these corners to try to help them in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. Well, one of the great defensive minds, that's for sure. That's another completion over the middle, and it's that guy again, Luke Tim. I didn't try to win that matchup. On the move again, the Hoosiers. They're going over the top again, incomplete. And these receivers... We still got four minutes to go in the first half, over 260 yards, passing in the sack. He turns the corner and makes the play. Had five sacks last year. That's number one this year on third and long. They'll hit Cobbs, and Cobbs trying to fight the CR line. I think Indiana apparently is going to punt the ball. And Hayden Whitehead. So instead of attempting a long field goal, now flags and whistles. I think that's movement against the Hoosiers. Offense, number 17, five-yard penalty, still fourth down. That's already. So now the punt, and another flag thrown. This one is going to bounce and bounce into the end zone for a touchback. That yeah, it looks like he's lined up offsides. I'm sure they want. Defense, number six, five-yard penalty, repeat fourth down. We had him, though. And we had it. All right, another try for Indiana. That one's going to go in the end zone again. So that was not particularly well done by the. You wonder what that could do to the Indiana psyche. They've outgained Ohio State. They've outsnapped them. J.K. Dobbins, though, on the last drive, controlled the line of scrimmage. Barrett back to throw. I think he kind of got hit. The tight end was locked in downfield. He had a wide open tight end. Tell you what, this is a big play. That stop the clock that incompletion this one is also incomplete and the clock inside the 10 Drew Crispin gets it off the return man was deep to say the least I don't know why he was quite that deep that costs Indiana a lot of field position position making for Tom Allen remember Indiana does get the ball to start the second half but they're gonna throw and go after one of those matchups again here comes the penalty flag I think you can see that one coming two players Defense number 12 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. See a time on the clock, Lego, a little pump fake, and now he's going down. He did not get looking pretty lonely on second down. Lego is not going that way, though. He's going back to the right side for the completion to Hale, who slips the tackle, and that's big because he gets out of bounds. He is staying off. It's a one-on-one -on -one battle. He trusts his receivers to win those battles. Pressured again, and he will throw a dangerous throw. I think that's caught. It was. Yeah. Lego in the pocket. And that pass caught. Third down here. Clock moving. 30 seconds to go first half. Lego, and he got rid of it, I guess. The ball sitting on the turf. Attention of grounding. Offense, number 21. That's a loss of down at the spot of the foul. Indiana has elected to use its first time out of the half. It's going to be. That punt, a low line drive kick. Sort of angled, and it is returnable, although not for much yard. Maybe give it to number two, see if he can break one. Oh, 
Barrett's going to throw. He's going across the middle, incomplete. Guys played played football in 15. Now, it's not all on the quarterback, but statistically, it's not been a great first half for J.T. Barrett. Now he's going to get hit and go down, and he did it in a score that I'm sure is uh, surprising to just about everybody around college football. Did he come out of the end zone? No. Touch for Ohio State. All right, so we'll see a handoff on first down. Have an answer, and they got to start to work to the inside. There they go. Trying to get to the corner there. That's Luke Timmy in the first game last year for Ohio State. Missed the rest of the year. Talented player. Third down. Pass rush coming, but Lego steps up. That one through behind is heard their fans who are here in pretty big numbers, as you'd expect. A low punt that's going to bounce and take an Indiana bounce inside the 35. Link. Receiving team number 34, 10 yard penalty, first down. So that a little bit more is here in this third quarter. Uh, the Buckeyes out rushing the Hoosiers 121 yards to four. Barrett keeps it. Yeah, that's a positive gain on second and five. Barrett gives it to Dobbins this time. And Dobbins tough to bring down. He's out into the open to midfield and finally tackled at the Indiana 49. Wow. Go along with that quickness. 24 yards on that carry. You can see why they love him so much. That ball tipped up and incomplete. Well, the throw is a little. has got to make that catch. I think that's a good throw. He's got to catch that one. So second down for the Buckeyes. Option style play. Barrett keeping it. And Barrett will, I think, step out to Ohio State offense. But a big gain nonetheless. Third and two. Back to pass. Barrett going down the middle. He's got a man. And it is incomplete and dropped. Right in the hands of Campbell. That Just taking and worrying too much. And now fourth and two, and the Buckeyes are going for it. Barrett gave it, and no good. They did not get the first down. Play, they don't convert. Hoosiers get the ball back. First and ten, Indiana, and a quick completion. For the 14, still trailing. Big hit. To the quick completion. Wow. Didn't just, he just didn't have much of a chance at all. Another third and long for Lego. Ohio State's defense looks a lot different here. It's only a handful of plays, but at the start of this second half, third and eight for the Hoosiers. Lego in the pocket. Will throw and he threw another one kind of behind his target. I don't know if it wouldn't have if it would have mattered. So put some pressure on, made Lego move around. That's not his strength. And that's back-to-back -back three and outs for Indiana's offense. Punt game hasn't been great for the Hoosiers, but that will work a fair catch the next five days. Well, Michigan, a team just outside the top ten from the Big Ten. The matchup against Florida, J.K. Dobbins, who has been, I think, the most. This true freshman saying, boy, I better get this hamstring healthy in a hurry, because you're right, he, he's been impressive. Sometimes you hear all that camp hype with JT Barrett with the keeper. He'll go out of bounds. Sometimes you hear him. He got healthy, came to campus, and he looks like a star. Takes the pitch. Driven out of third and two. Barrett, pressure coming up the middle. He'll throw short for a first down, and Campbell hangs on this time, and now he's off and running. Leaping over a defender out of bounds. And Ohio State on the move. Playing better here in the second half, but trying to get some points to show for it. J.K. Dobbins, who's having a big debut for Ohio. For yards in the pit there, and he breaks free, whether it's a, a safety or a corner or a linebacker that has him. You better bring your shoulders and wrap up on this young guy. Barrett back to throw with time. Great pocket toward the end zone. Incomplete. Just not quite enough uh, close. Third and six. Barrett's going to keep it. And Barrett will get the first down and more. Tackled at about the 21. Gives him a chance for more yards. Yeah, you were talking about the blocking a minute ago that wasn't executed that time. The blocker he was. And just watching this J.K. Dobbins tonight, not only is he running the football, when he's asked to block, he's he's put putting people down. 5'10", 208 pounds, the freshman from LaGrange, Texas. And so far, the adjustments that the Ohio State coaches have made on both sides of the ball have looked effective. Barrett takes a hit, incomplete. Man, range, but hoping for more. They've only punched it in one time. They will hand it off to Dobbins, and Dobbins trying to pick his way ahead. Man, he is strong for a true freshman, but he's stopped. They're going for it. Barrett will give it to Dobbins. First down. Automatic. 
154 yards. This has a chance to be a record setting night for the freshman who will spin away from the first tackler but couldn't get away. Rushing yards by any freshman in a game. And that, that's within range to the end zone. Incomplete, but a penalty flag thrown. Pass interference. Defense number 28. By rule, the ball will be placed at the two yard line with an automatic first down. Evans is in the game, but he's wide right. So JT Barrett alone in the backfield. Barrett's going to keep it. Barrett, end zone touchdown. Here in this second half. Not going for two. They're going to take the one extra point up. And they need to make a big play. I've been saying it during this whole broadcast. Indiana fans are like, oh man, good things are happening. Well, it's about it's this is the opportunity to Fonte Williams. This is what's been critical all night long. Most of our homers broadcast on both sides. Part of our mega cast production here tonight. Reason. Ohio State's defense has been able to make plays here in the second half. Wow, that was a dangerous play. Lego, and I don't think they've blown the play dead. They let it go. He thought it was an incompletion. Instead, rumbling toward the end zone and into the end zone. Touchdown. Review. That was an incomplete pass. It's going to be third down and nine from the 39-yard line. As for Indiana, points come off the board. It's a six-point game. Cobbs, they're going toward Cobbs. Complete first down. You saw it. Yeah, it, well, it's the first time they've had a matchup without a safety over the top to take Cobbs away. Remember, in the first half, Cobbs was a match. It's, has been to put safeties over the top to try to help them out. That one tipped. In it. Second down, Indiana in Ohio State territory. Wide open, Cobbs across the middle. And he's knocking defenders backwards down to the 20. Now they get Cobbs into the middle that's been vacated by the linebackers. Quick tempo and another completion. Second and four, Indiana trying to answer. They go. That one's caught. And it's the running back, Mike Moore. Great pass, first and goal. Majette fighting. Down one against uh, Sheffield. Jump ball coming. We'll see. Lego instead toward the tight end. Touchdown. His second of the night. Ian. Nine plays, 62 yards. Extra point. Good. Happened. That's been the Indiana way. And that was a heck of an answer now after Ohio State started to take control this second half. The Hoosiers go back up 21 to 20. They lean heavily on their star wideout. Simi Cobbs is having a huge night against Ohio State. Kick return here for Campbell to the 20. And trying to get outside to the 26. Indiana back in front, 21-20. Number two on the road to start the year. Conference game really being tested. Campbell across the middle. Paris Campbell got the big time speed. There he goes. Campbell off to the races. Ten. Touchdown. Warren, of course, in Florida with Percy Harvin, Curtis Samuel at Ohio State. And that gives you an idea why Urban Meyer is so excited about what Paris Campbell can do with the ball. Opens it up, so instead of a nice 30-yard gain, he's able to take it to the house. That's how important perimeter blocking from the wide receivers is. And the speed of Paris to him the next series and all of a sudden he's had a heck of a night That might have been the key. They got him the ball the next time they had it right away again. Kick cover. They've had pretty good responses all night pressure and incomplete and Ohio State front gets to him again second and ten pressure and they go Incomplete and that was Ohio State breaking up their own Denzel Ward Third and ten and they're handed the ball off trying to take Ohio State by surprise and they were not so a Low line drive punt Going back to take it on a bounce and then getting to the corner KJ Hill But not all the way state football they've been some pretty good players that have come through Columbus there have been yeah and I'll say it again they've been playing football for 128 years and he's the first three times captain and the combination to go with the power he, he runs through tackles Mike Weber better get healthy quick Dobbins 200 plus yard game when he was a freshman that throw on third down complete and it's a first down to find a receiver that can make uh, some plays happen Johnny Dixon could be that guy he was so through meaning they've been close but can we have that breakthrough moment looking for it tonight wide open across the middle and there's Dixon again Dixon to the 20 Dixon touchdown
start with Dobbins in the backfield to his left. Two point try. Barrett keeps it. Add on two more. That was easy. After all of the struggles to get healthy and get on the field, I got to think he's thinking it was all worth it now. More good kick coverage. Man, Indiana special teams, they have had no. When you look at the names, you think maybe lopsided. This was no pushover game. And it still isn't. We still no. got a ways to go. Oh, yeah. Don't sleep on Richard Lego and these receivers. Lego pressured. Incomplete. Look uncomfortable in that pocket. He took that hit on the near interception. Nowhere close. Majestic. State defense. Four different three and outs they forced in this quarter alone. The punt, fair catch at the 39. That's for sure. Dobbins, who is in the game, Laura told us from the sideline he's dealing with some crampy one. Buckeyes, though, have the ball, and they're a true freshman running back. They got the start tonight. Me out. It gives you a little insight into how they feel about this guy and yeah. his role going forward. He is going to get the ball. Down Ohio State, play fake, and they'll just swing it out to Campbell out in open space. That seems like a pretty good plan, usually. Three touchdowns took control of this game, and it gives you an indication of how quickly this offense can strike with the playmakers that they have. Dobbins on the pitch play out of and vertically. And they'll empty the backfield on third and one. Barrett, you can kind of see that coming strong enough to try to get there, but he is going to be to permeate not only on defense, but over the entire roster, all over the team. Ohio State fourth and short decides to punt in the Big Ten and anytime they go head-to-head -head, It's always a lot of fun. I, I'm excited to see LSU. We've talked about the new coordinators in this game LSU, I think they, they didn't look great last week, but sometimes I can that can lull their next opponent to sleep. Yeah, they do have the advantage They have played a game that is an advantage. That's some tough Happy Barrett and the offense off the field now their offense has to get it going again, and with plays like that, it's going to be tough. Ball came out. The hit and the fumble, and I think the Buckeyes have it. Yeah, that ball came out. I don't, nobody from Indiana, it wasn't a whistle. Nobody from Indiana went for the football. But what an effort that time by Jay Sean Carter. Oh, yeah. That's like Jonathan Cooper. This is the next, the next wave of defensive linemen. The ball clearly out. Cornell does a nice job, but huge turnover. Ohio State now has a chance to really open this game up. Fifth sack for the Buckeyes defense. Barrett, touchdown. And that's Victor with the catch. This year for the Buckeyes. Ohio State will kick the extra point. And State fans still here. Indiana led this game at halftime, 14-13. And really controlled a lot of the first half. Ohio State has dominated in the second half. Offense, defense, and at the beginning of the second half, I expect him to try to take control of the line of scrimmage and run Dobbins. That opens up the passing game for Ohio State. It did big time. Cobbs did not get the first down. Or did he? No. Second half, it's not a ton, yeah. but, I, but I thought they went back and they were a little bit more effective with quarterback run in the second half very short here indiana's just not been able to run the ball at all so they'll throw it to the tight end ian thomas who in some got five tonight with two touchdowns they go on the move back across the middle kind of a dangerous throw but he got it this year it's going to be different it's going to be our breakthrough moment you know we've been close to that they have with lego and company I think they're going to win a bunch of games lego batted and incomplete combinations of defense alignment in there letting them all play and try to keep them all fresh lego on third down that is caught for a first down and that's the second tight receiver and there was a big void in that defense behind worley and good throw by lego in the pocket again that one is intercepted what a play on the ball that should count as an advice in the middle. Watch him look back and look for the football. Two at 175. J.K. Dobbins is going to have a lot of yards and impact on this Ohio State offense this year. J.T. Barrett to Campbell for the kills, but I'd be giving the ball to number two. Nobody's asked me yet. And that's a first down and more. 21 with nine minutes to go the way this game is gone. You think, are you... Are you surprised that they still have Barrett and, and the skill and really their entire first team unit in? I am surprised. It's the first game. Maybe you're kind of thinking, okay, we got Oklahoma next. As many reps as we can get. But I, I think it's still about not running up a score, but more about 
first half was was kind of a debacle for what they expect out of themselves so I think he wants his first unit to keep working in the second half in a big way Played third and one Barrett keeps for a first down and more across midfield and now get down don't uh, that looks to be happening tonight they're given Antonio Shins they'll start to kind of mold their offense like a like it's putty in a certain direction they know about JT Barrett but I think they're learning about some of these other skill guys Ball the tight end film and see where you can improve yeah I'm with you and one thing they were not good yards after the catch last year they've been great that tonight so that's near the bottom in college football yards after, after the, the catch, catch. Yeah. there is they got 220 yards after the catch tonight and Antonio Williams is looking like Dom in 2016 and off inside the 10 yeah. in. this is a perfect time for me up the middle Williams right behind his position coach trying to argue to get in the, on the field I love it yeah, Barrett, you got it. seniors last year even though he didn't play Williams touchdown. He's got another one. Smile for your teammate. He did. Fickle. The adjustments that they made in the second half. Team lives up to the hype. Everybody excited to get to Atlanta and the Mercedes Benz Stadium that's going to be unveiled. The new opening for that stadium. Brand new program. But too much Ohio State in the second half. A powerful performance by the Buckeyes. Final year in and year out. It's still a new team. And so to face that adversity and find an answer, that, that's big for developing. A team belief. Third and two here for Indiana. And a first down on the ground. Head clear. Mm -hmm. It's thoughts. And you ready to go? You're an Indiana guy. Does it ever hit you? Saying there, basically, Absolutely. don't you think? Yeah, for sure. And I think he's got a pretty good team. That that. Uh... They use the breakthrough mantra as a big part of their whole team. And his Wi-Fi password is breakthrough. When the kids came over and. Uh -huh. Ahead at halftime, ahead in the third quarter, just too much Ohio State. Yeah, Ohio State does a nice job of kind of keeping their wits about him. Urban Meyer, you could see his nervous energy in that first half. I think he was looking at Richard Lego and that offense thinking, man, what are we going to do?